X3S, 650 mAh batteries, one Baby Hawk R. Which battery wins? Which battery loses? Tattoo 650 mAh 3S, 52.3 grams, 59 millimeters by 32 millimeters by 17 millimeters. GMB 650 mAh 3S, 60.5 grams. 63 millimeters by 28 millimeters by 20 millimeters. An RDQ 650 mod 3S. 61.7 grams. 63 millimeters by 28 millimeters by 20 millimeters. you just watched was a culmination of uh, about the last two months worth of uh, battery usage on my Baby Hawk R. Been uh, flying pretty much every weekend so there's probably about uh, 20 charges per pack so far. Um, so out of the batteries uh, you guys saw the GMB batteries. These were bought from Amazon.com. They were $14.88. Uh, they did all arrive at 3.8 volts a cell. Uh, they balance charge fantastic. They are the second heaviest battery and the same size as the RDQ, um, but of course larger than the Tattoo batteries. Cruising time on these is about five to six minutes, and if you're flooring it with lots of flips, you'll get about two to three minutes out of the GMPs. The RDQs, um, they are uh, they came directly from RacedayQuads.com. They were twenty dollars or nineteen ninety nine each. They also arrived at um, 3.8 cells, uh, 3.8 volts per cell. They balance charge great. Uh, they are the heaviest, but not by much, only by a gram or so. They are exactly the same size as the GMBs and, of course, larger than the tattoos. Uh, the same as the GMBs, about five to six minutes of cruising time. Flooring it with flips, about two to three minutes. And then finally, the tattoo battery. Uh, these are definitely the lightest battery of the bunch, um, by about 10 grams actually. And you can see that they are definitely a lot uh, thinner compared to the RDQs and the GMBs as well. Issue, however, um, and maybe that's because they are the smallest, uh, the cruising time is only about 3 to 4 minutes on these batteries. And if you do uh, a bunch of flooring and flips and stuff, uh, it's about a minute and 30 uh, minute 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 and 30 to about two minutes and 30 uh, seconds uh, per charge 
So definitely a lot less than the RDQs and the GMBs. My personal preference and the winner uh, for me is the GMB battery. These things uh, take a beating. For example, this one here actually uh, dropped this battery uh, with, the, with the quad from about 40 feet, still going strong. Um, mostly the winner is simply because of the price at 1488 and five to six minute cruising two to three minutes of flooring is just the best value for your money. Uh, the second runner up of course is the RDQ battery, uh, flight times equal to the GMB. Uh, and of course the only thing that may put this battery ahead of the other one is if it lasts longer. So that's the one thing I don't know right now is whether or not the GMBs will crap out before the RDQs. Uh, second place only because of the price, so $20 versus $15 a battery. And then the Tattoo batteries, uh, they did come in last. To me, this is more like a 550 mAh battery instead of 650. And the size kind of tells it all. I mean, it's, it's just very, very tiny. Now, it is still a great little battery. Uh, you know, it's light, um, it's smaller, you just get shorter flight times out of it. Um, so I can I can still recommend it. It's still a great battery. It charges fine. Uh, had absolutely no issues. None of these come down hot. They all come down nicely warm after even a hard flight. Uh, so no issues there. Um, so those are my 3S batteries. Um, I do have some other battery reviews coming. I've got some 4S 650s and uh, some uh, 4S uh, 1300s and 1500s that I'll be reviewing here uh, soon as well for my other two builds. Much appreciate you watching. Um, any questions at all, as always, don't forget to uh, or leave, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. It would greatly help me out if you do subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 100 mark so I can get my custom URL. Again, thanks so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Because I'm falling.